Hello, YouTubers. So here we are, and I wanted to give you a review on La Mesa RV, which is where we purchased our gateway that we do love. Let me tell you, it was a long process, and um, if you are buying a new RV from a dealership, you should listen to me. So first of all, we began our search four or five months ago. We went to several dealerships and we kept going back to La Mesa because we like the salesman there. So uh, we ended up purchasing our gateway at La Mesa. The one that I saw was online and it was at a different location than the Daytona, which is where we live. So we went in and talked to our salesman there and he said that you know they could bring it up we did the paperwork it was approved that day and we gave him a credit card to hold it because he said we you know we still have to give this to the finance manager blah 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 but everything so far looks okay so the next day he calls and says you're approved congratulations however the unit that you wanted was sold last night you know that didn't fly with me I didn't I didn't believe that we were there at 530 so um, I really just think that they I don't know it's called a yo-yo sale so I felt like I was being yo-yoed so my husband went in and talked to the general manager Bruce in Daytona who is really wonderful I just have to say if you have a problem that's who you need to go to so anyway they did have a gateway on the Daytona lot that um, I went in and looked at and I really liked it even better than the gateway that they had down in Port St. Lucie I guess because this one it has the dark wood and it's a little bit more modern than the other one and it is new so the general manager did do us a, a, a solid and basically gave us this one for the same price as the other one which wasn't quite as nice so it ended up working a working out okay but uh, I just encourage people to to be careful for that yo-yo sale um, that people do you know they get you hooked in one and then you, you end up with another one that costs more um, and they're gonna try to get that money from you but if you go to the general manager you may have a better better experience so anyway this all happened in December so we took delivery on December 21st much to my chagrin, I did not understand that it was a spot delivery, which if you don't know what that means, it's just that they have run your credit through a couple of banks and the banks have said, yeah, it looks good, go ahead, which basically is if you have good credit, they're going to spot deliver you something because they know that they can get it financed. So my credit score is, is over 800, so of course they just let us take the unit which we took delivery on December 21st. The PDI was at a different location than Daytona and it was not a good experience, but I am chalking that up to it was December 21st. The guy that was tasked with doing the PDI was not familiar with our unit. He was the only one around that wasn't busy and that's because he was trying to get out the door to drive to Georgia or somewhere for his holiday. So, we asked if we got a manual and he said yes I'm gonna give you a thumb drive and uh, it has a manual on there so any questions you may have would be answered on there so we basically let that go we thought all right this guy's busy it's Christmas let's just let him get out of here so he rushed us through didn't know a lot of the stuff but we let it go we get the unit home there's a lot of things that don't work um, and the thumb drive is not the unit that we have so we just, you know, by then it's it's almost Christmas. We're, we don't want to call and bother anybody at La Mesa. So we just sort of fumble through and we figure everything out. We come home Christmas Day and the unit is flooded because none of the hoses under the sink, in the bathroom, in the shower, none of them are tightened. So that, that's, that should have been caught in PDI. Another thing that should have been caught in PDI is we went to turn on the hot water and under shore power uh, it didn't work it only worked under the furnace so we figured out that the wires coming into the hot water tank 
were not even spliced together. They were just hanging there. So once my husband did that, then we had hot water on shore power. So it's a lot of little things and we keep finding little things that are broken and leaking and, and things like that that sh really, really should have been caught before we picked up this unit. Uh, so I encourage people, even if it is the holidays, forget about being graceful and nice about it. Make them do the PDI and check every single box. And if you get somebody that doesn't know your unit, tell them you want somebody out. So that's what I wish I would have done. So anyway, we get the unit home. We fixed it all up, all of it's flooded twice, but we have corrected all of those issues. The next problem that we had was two and a half weeks into living in the unit, we still haven't closed on our house up north because it's a foreclosure and the bank is dragging their feet. They need to fill out some tax papers. So anyway, I got a call from the bank that we were financed with and they told us that because we didn't close on our house, they wouldn't finance us because they don't finance full-time people and we are considered full-time because I don't have the address of our actual primary residence because we hadn't closed yet. So she informed me that I needed to bring the unit back. Hello, I've already lived in this thing almost three weeks. Uh, I have ripped out a couch. There's a new fireplace in there that I'll show you. Um, I'm not bringing this unit back. You have my unit. I've been living in it. It's, I was just totally beside myself so um i called the finance manager he said don't worry about it we'll get it somewhere else a week and a half went by i don't hear anything from anybody i'm just sitting here freaking out the whole time so finally i decided to call the um general manager bruce at the daytona office let me tell you if you have a problem call him he helped us first with the first issue and then he helped us with this i just I actually burst into tears and said, you know, I, I, I've been living in this unit. You, you know, you guys are going to come and take it away. I'm just, I can't move again. The house still hasn't closed. He, he was phenomenal. He said, don't worry about it, Mrs. Brennan. I'll take care of this. And he did. And the very next day I got a call and said, you're fine. You're with somebody else. You know, the rate is even lower and the term was even shorter. So it ended up working out in our favor. And I went down and re-signed the papers. I still haven't received, a payment is due in five days, so that'll be 45 days. And I still haven't received any of the paperwork. I did call the new company that we're financed with and they said, oh, we're so sorry we have the wrong zip code um, on the dealership's paperwork. So they're sending it out. So I should have that soon, but I just want people to know, oh, do the PDI. Don't slack even if it is a holiday. And if you have a problem, go to the general manager because they will fix it. So I have to give um, La Mesa props. I am happy with them. I can't say that I wasn't happy with them out of all the dealerships that we went through. Because um, we did go through another one that was a nightmare. So overall, they're great. Go ahead, talk to the general manager if you're having any problems. They seem to be the ones that can fix it. They have the power. And uh, we're happy with it. And uh, let me show you what we did. This unit came with two recliners here to match the opposing recliners there. Hello, Logan. So we took those out and put the, hot, uh, put the fireplace in and put our own TV up. And I want to tell you the reason that we did that is, uh, I don't know if this is true with all RVs, but the heater, the, the heat vents in the bedroom and the bathroom and the bunkhouse work well. But then when you get to the kitchen and the living room, there's less air coming out. So it's, it really is colder in this area. Terrible. It's a lot colder. So, uh, I would recommend anybody buying a gateway that has the opposing, this is a 3712 rear den mid bunk, whatever. Uh, make sure that you get the one that has the fireplace because there is one that has the fireplace or take the two chairs out and get put your own fireplace in because you're going to need it if it's cold because the heater just doesn't pump, pump enough out to the living room. Uh, it, it keeps the, the bedroom is like a sauna. So just so you know,
um, 